Well, hello and good morning and welcome back to the kitchen. May not be morning when you're watching, but it's morning here for me today. I'm going to do a video response to Linda's Pantry and Sutton's Days on making uh, a meal or a dish from my home canned uh, pantry. So today I'm going to use some beef that I put up. But today we're going to do the fajitas. All that have never been to my channel, welcome. I'm glad that you're here. I hope you'll go watch some of the videos that I've already done. I've got a lot of good southern cooking, some canning, some yard tours. Appreciate it if you'll subscribe and watch. Tell your friends about it and help my channel to grow. I'm enjoying this. Okay, let's make some fajitas. Okay, I've already got my onions um, cut long ways like they have them for fajitas. And I'm just going to cut down the side of my bell peppers and try to cut around that that's in there and it'll make cleanup of the pieces a lot easier. Now I'm not making but just a little bit of fajita because I'm only going to use a pint. My, uh, one of my grandsons is here so he'll eat this. Sometimes I have to worry about who's going to eat it because it's just me and Troy here. But I have a good eater here today. All right, let's go over to the skillet. I'm going to use some of my garlic oil that I told y'all about that I bought at Costco. And it's already got the garlic in it, and it tastes so good. So I'm going to put a little dab of this in the skillet, and I'm going to put my onions in to caramelize. And when they get cooking pretty good, because this has water in it, and I like to cook my onions first. Then I put my bell pepper in. Then I'm going to add my beef in my seasoning, and uh, we'll have beef fajitas in nothing flat. I will add a little bit of liquid smoke where it'll have a smoky flavor, but uh, other than that, I'm just going to use canned beef and make fajitas. Okay, the onions are starting to get a little bit of color on them, so I'm going to add my um, bell peppers here just to jiffy. and let them start cooking down. And I like a lot of bell pepper. If you're new to my channel, I do fermenting and I do, um, I dehydrate. I have a Harvest Right freeze dryer and occasionally I bring y'all along for one of the freeze dried um, videos. And I can uh, vegetables and meat with the pressure canner. So I have, right now I've been doing Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, but I'm trying to get all of my rabbits in one hat so I can do videos more often. I do appreciate y'all watching today. While the bell peppers and the onions are finishing over there, I'm going to open my, my beef up. Smells good. Drain that broth off because that's good and strong and I want to keep it. I do not want that fat that's on it, however. I'm just going to separate this and I know that it's going to shred when I get it in the skillet. And this was just beef uh, round roast that I cut up in hand. Now I'm going to put the rest of this back in the refrigerator. And I'll make another dish out of it. And I'll... I've minced up one large garlic clove and I'm going to add it to the onions and peppers. But I'm just going to let it cook for a jiffy so it won't get bitter. When you start to smell the garlic fragrance, it's time to do your next step or your garlic will get bitter. Now it depends on the flavor that you like in your um, fajitas. I'm going to add my beef in. I'm going to add to this little bit about a half a teaspoon of onion powder. And even though I put garlic in it, I'm going to add about an eighth of a teaspoon of garlic powder. I want to add a little bit of, sol of dried cilantro. So, 
That's probably going to be about a teaspoon of cilantro. And I'm just going to put a shake or two of, uh, well, they don't have a shaker on it. So I'm going to put probably eighth of a teaspoon of liquid smoke. And this is hickory. And I have mesquite, but I chose to use hickory today. So let's see what we got going on here. I'm just going to use a little bit of sea salt on it. A little black pepper. For those of you that haven't watched, this is a ratchet pepper grinder that I got from Sir La Top, and it's just wonderful because you just crank it back and forth instead of having to twist on the, the top of it so much. And I'm just going to let it heat and then it'll be ready to put into our tortilla and add a little bit of, well we add cheese and sometimes sour cream to ours. Y'all can make it however you want to, but you see how quick and easy it is to get the, the filling ready for fajitas? I'm going to add just a little bit of cumin, probably an eighth of a teaspoon, just to add that little bit of flavor. And I'm going to add just a, this is just me, just a tad of smoky paprika. Bottom line is, you have your meat canned, and you can season it to the taste of yourself and your family. But there you have fajitas, ready to go. And if I hadn't have been talking and doing all at the same time, 10 or 15 minutes, we'd be having a meal on the table. I'm just heating uh, my tortilla in my cast iron skillet uh, to get it pliable. Come over here, get a little of this filling. some cheese to it. Okay, I've got my tortillas with plenty of meat stuffed in them. And this is for Troy. I'm going to add some cheese to it, which you may not put cheese on yours. We like cheese on it. And I don't have any avocado to make guacamole salad, so I'm using a canned uh, salsa. You can put whatever you want to on it. I'm going to add him a little bit of this salsa. And that's going to be lunch. Okay, here's his uh, fajitas, all ready to take over to the table. Yummy, yummy, and it tastes like fajitas that you've done on the grill. Now you could use your canned chicken, canned venison, canned pork, and do the same thing that I just did. You know, when I was younger, um, I started canning when I was in my 20s. I, mean, I, um, I would can it, and I just had one or two ways that I would use it. But there's a lot of different ways to use your canned meat. And if you're a working woman or man, and you come in and you need a meal, um, it's a quick and easy way to have a good meal in just a few minutes. That would have taken you a long time to cook it from scratch, your meat. Um, I hope that this has inspired y'all to open up some of those jars or be filling some of your jars and canning it and having a new way to use your can to beef or chicken. The good Lord bless y'all. Come back right here in a day or two and we'll have another good video.